Slideshows are critical components in most tablet publications. In this video, I'll show you how to build an in-page slideshow and enhance each slide with animated captions providing additional information for your viewers. Let's take a look at the final result. In the video, we'll create the basic in-page slideshow. We will add a semi-transparent animated background for the caption text and add individual caption text for each slide. Before I start building the slideshow, let's take a look at how our final file structure will look. This will give us a clearer understanding of how the elements and files fit together to create the final result. The basic folder structure for my presentation is as follows. Slideshow, 10-cover, 20-slideshow. Inside the 10-cover folder is a simple B1-1 page that I'll use as a cover page for the presentation. For the slideshow, I'll be using a background page created in InDesign. This will be exported as a PDF and named B1-1 and saved into the 20-slideshow. This page will contain a rectangular frame that defines where our slideshow will be located in the page. Each slide will be a separate page in a PDF document. That document will reside in a folder named IPS1, which stands for In-Page Slideshow, and that will be in the 20-Slideshows folder. As it's the first layer shown, it will be named S-1 for Slideshow Page 1, Level 1. Each caption background will be a separate page in a PDF document, also residing in the IPS1 folder. As it's the second layer, it will be named S1-2 for Slideshow Page 1, Level 2. Each caption text will also be a separate page in a PDF document, once again residing in the IPS1 folder. As it's the third layer, it will be named S1-3 for Slideshow Page 1, Level 3. And that's our complete file structure for this example. I'll start with the B1-1.pdf. As I mentioned before, I've already created the background page and placed a rectangular frame on top of it. The frame has a dimension of 700 by 350 pixels. The first thing I need to do is add a hyperlink to the frame that Oomph will interpret and use as a command to present the interactivity we want. With the frame active, I select New Hyperlink from the Hyperlink window, turn off Shared Hyperlink Destination, and type in IPS1. Before I export, I'll remove the color from the frame. To export it, I'll use a predefined Adobe PDF export. I've called it Oomph iPad SRGB. I'll save it into the 20 slideshow folder. And name it B1-1.pdf. As it's the only page in InDesign, I'll leave it set at all and select Export. To create the slideshow, I'll add a new page to the Pages panel by dragging in a new master. Now I want each slide to be the same size as the frame that I've already created. So I select the Page tool, click on the new page, and define a new size as 700 by 350 pixels in the control panel. I'll create a new layer and name it Images. With the layer active, I'll add a frame that fits the page exactly. To make it easier to fit my slides into the frame, I'm going to right click on the frame, select Fitting, Frame Fitting Options from the menu. In the dialog box, I'm going to select Fill Frame Proportionally and Align from Center. This means any image I place into the frame will fill and be centered in the frame. I select OK, choose Place from the File menu and browse to my first slide. I select the slide and then OK, and the image is scaled and centered in my frame. I'll make a small adjustment to fit the image. To create my other slides, I option drag the first slide down in the Pages window to create the new pages. I repeat the Place command and replace the existing slide with my alternate ones. 
I'll export these three pages as a single PDF using the Adobe PDF export as before. However, this time I'll save them into a new folder I'll create in 20 Slideshow called IPS1. By naming the folder IPS1, the hyperlink on the frame in the background knows to look inside this folder for the slideshow. I'll name the PDF S1 1 to indicate that it's the first layer and specify the range of 2 4 and select export. Let's test what we've developed so far. I'm going to be testing using the iPad simulator that comes bundled with Apple Xcode. If you don't have Xcode, you can simply test by sideloading via iTunes. The first thing I need to do is zip the complete slideshow folder, drag it into my documents folder to automatically install it in the Ulfrida. In the simulator, I can swipe to the slideshow page and swipe between each individual slide. The next step is to add the caption backgrounds and individual captions for each slideshow. I'll start with the first slide in the slideshow and create the new layer, Caption BG. I'm going to add a new frame, fill it with black, and set the transparency to 40%. I'll resize it to around about 70 pixels high. Then I'll copy that frame and paste it into each of the other slides using the paste in place command. Now I'll add a new layer for my captions called caption text and import my Word documents. I've named the Word files Caption 1, 2 and 3 so I can bring them in as separate place items. I'll place Caption 1 in the first slide, 2 in the second and 3 in the third. I'll resize the frame to fit the text on each slide. Now I'm ready to export the caption backgrounds and text as PDF files. I'll start with the backgrounds by turning off all of the layers except Caption BG. I'll export slideshow pages as single PDFs using the Adobe PDF export as before. However, this time I'll save them into the IPS1 folder as S1 2 fade in and move in from bottom. The naming convention S1 2 means that this PDF will be treated as the second layer and sit above the background. Using fade in and move in from bottom means that when the slide loads the background will fade in automatically and slide up at the same time. I'll do the same thing with the caption text but this time I'll name the file s1-3-fade in and it will become the top layer and fade in the text after the background is loaded. And that's it. It's time to test our slideshow. I'll compress the slideshow folder, drag it to my documents folder and review it in the simulator. Now when each slide loads, the caption background and caption text animate over the top of the slide. So there's our slideshow, 
with animated captions built using three simple PDF files. In my next video, I'll show you how to add the option for the viewer to tap and hide the caption and modify the animation timings. You can download the InDesign and UF files from our website at oomphq.com tutorial slideshow.zip. Thanks for watching and be sure to join our YouTube channel and keep an eye out for more videos coming soon.